Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome to what used to be my office and is now going to be my new little one's nursery. So today we're doing a little nesting vlog. I'm gonna show you what I have done in my nursery so far. It's not much, but we're definitely moving along in the process. I only have four weeks left, so I need to get my button gear. I'll basically just take you around the room, show you what's gonna be where, and we'll do a little nesting together. So I will have everything linked for you guys in the description box. We're also gonna open up my new monitor, which I'm so excited about. So let's jump right in. So so I'm just gonna give you a quick tour around the room to show you where we're at. First, we have this little nook, which I'm very excited about. This is basically how this is gonna look. So we have my little rocker here, a little end table, and then my lamp. This lamp I'm so excited about. I wanna see it on. Oh, it's so cute and so, it's just, it's the vibe. I'm very excited. I kept my same rug in here that I had in my office and I feel like it's nice and neutral. Since we don't know what the baby is, I feel like it's gonna work. We obviously need some sort of art along the wall. And on this wall, I believe we're gonna have the changing table, which at the moment is in this corner piled up. So I need to go through clothes. I did get a new hamper. This changing table is what we use for Logan. And then we also have his changing pad on top. So we just need to go through clothes, hang stuff up, kind of fill this entire dresser. I love this one because it's so little and cute and I don't feel like I need a full size dresser yet. So this corner will be the crib. Uh, the crib is obviously here. We have it as a mini crib right now, but this one expands into a full size crib. But this is right where I'm gonna be setting up the monitor today. And I just love this dark, wood i think it's so pretty especially with the rug i felt like it was different than what i have done in the past i do need to get new curtains because these sheer curtains are not going to fly with a little baby i don't know if i'm going to do blackout yet but we're figuring it out this area is just collecting things at this point this is stuff i have purchased i'm going to do a whole unboxing video of stuff that i've purchased for the nursery like once we go through this video so i don't think i'll be opening any of this stuff out today i'm not sure we'll see and then that is just an old end table that i think we need to get out of here the bench is going and that's basically it so for our monitor we decided to go with the nano baby aura i'm gonna open it up my husband and i both saw it ethan and i both saw it and we were like that monitor looks amazing <laughs> So let's open it up together. Also full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Nano Baby. Thank you so much, I am so grateful. But the amazing thing was that I saw this before they even reached out and I was like, I'm purchasing that for the new baby. So I am so thrilled to be working with them in this video. A little card, here's the monitor. Floor stand, let's open up the monitor first. Oh my God, this packaging is stunning. Look at how cool. Okay, so these are all of the pieces for the monitor. And then these are all the pieces. You kind of fish the cord through and this goes into the floor stand. Have our directions. Boom, that's the heavy part right there. <laughs> Amazing, I actually love how I'm not gonna have to mount this to the wall because we all know there would be a lot of holes in the wall if I tried to do that. I will say my initial overall experience is this feels very very high end and like luxe and amazing. So some of the things that Ethan and I saw initially and why we wanted to buy this monitor was super HD, clear, clear monitor, which honestly makes a difference. It's so annoying when you can't really see if your child's eyes are open or not, especially when you're like waiting for them to fall asleep to shut the door, for example. So we wanted like a very crisp, clear video. So this is super HD day and night. There are no wearables, so your baby can be super comfortable. They don't have to wear anything for you to monitor them. There is a built-in sound machine, which is so cool. And then a 360 remote, so you can kind of move this baby to see exactly what you need to see. And of course, waking and sleeping notifications. Then there's a little app that you connect to your phone and that's how you see everything. So we're gonna set this thing up together. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is pull these four holes together. So it's to pull all the slack out of the cords. Okay, connected. So I'm gonna take this cord out of here, grab the leg, which is this piece, and then feed this through, connect this piece here. Okay, so then once the leg is on the pole, we have the cord and I'm just gonna slide this through the base now. I'm gonna put this through here. 
Okay, so then I basically just popped the leg and the base together. So easy. From here, we are just tightening these screws on the bottom. Okay, I moved it over into the corner. There's this little gray line on the pole and you just wanna make sure that that is even with the mattress or the sleeping surface. Now I'm grabbing the monitor. Okay, we are doing great. We have some extra poles here, which is really nice because it covers up the cord if you don't want the cord showing and your outlet is far away. Luckily, my outlet is right down here, so I was just able to plug it in without these extra ones. I am currently setting it up through the app. Honestly, this has been so simple, but so I need to scan this code that is on the back of this, which I might just need to move this a little bit. Boom. Okay, so basically all I have to do is download the app make an account took two seconds and then make sure i was connected to wi-fi and bluetooth and it is literally configuring as we speak i'm so excited look at this okay let me move my crib back to where it was okay it's done it's set up it's right here i just have to move there's a quick tour of the app you can do okay cool so it just gives you kind of like monitoring tips you can scroll through clear view which I'm like, maybe I should move it to the side. I think it might be better. Crib is like this. And this is more like this. I'm feeling like that is going to be a better view for me. I totally forgot to peel this little thing off the camera lens. Okay, amazing. It's done. It's perfect. It's so cool because you can easily just kind of like move the, the camera where you need it to go. So... I love that because you can literally see whatever you need to see. I mean, obviously once you get your spot, you're gonna be good, you're gonna be able to see the babe. But wow, I'm obsessed with this already. Okay, so I'm just messing around with the app and I found the sounds. Like drizzle. I love that I don't need another sound machine in here. And you can adjust the volume. Right on the app. So when I'm in the other room, I have control without coming in here. It's so, so easy. I hope you can see, but like there's the volume control and there's multiples. So like, this is light drizzle. Let's do something else. Going for a drive. Beach waves. I mean, it gets loud. This is amazing. There's so many. Tin roof rain, fan, lullabies. This is starting to get real right now. I'm gonna have another baby. <laughs> okay, also there's tr the tracker section, which I feel like is probably the coolest thing on here. So you can track their sleep. There's like a sleep start session, end session. So you know how long they napped for. Then there's a feeding tracker. So whether you're nursing or giving a bottle, oh my God, this is so cool. There's also, you can track diapers, wet, dirty, dry, mixed, which honestly, if you're a first time mom, you'll learn, like you do have to pay attention to how many wet diapers you're getting at the beginning. So that's so helpful. And then also weight. You can put weight in there and track that. This is literally incredible. Okay, now that the fun part is over, I'm going to just clean up and start putting stuff away. So let's do it. decide if I'm going to keep these because these we had in Logan's room and I kind of want to do it a little bit different for the new babe. Honestly, one thing they don't tell you, I feel like it's harder to set up a second nursery than the first. So you don't have all the new stuff. You're going through all the old stuff. It's like, it's a lot more of a process. Pro tip, you don't need a wipe warmer. You're not going to use it. I'll tell you that right now. I think we should move this. We need to enlist the husband. I need to sit. I did order a bunch of stuff, but I don't want to do a whole unboxing right now. So I'm just going to open up a couple of things. First, I got these super cute dividers for the closet because I'm telling you right now, it is so hard and annoying to remember what clothing is what and what size. So it has newborn, zero to three, three to six, six to nine, nine to 12, 12 to 18, 18 to 24. So you can kind of hang these up in your closet, which I'm scared to look at the closet. I don't think it's that bad. Okay, we cleaned out most of it. It's all baby stuff, but you can hang these in here. 
that needs to go. And then we'll be able to easily see. I also ordered some baby hangers that are coming. Maybe these are the baby hangers. <laughs> Look how cute they are. I don't know if you can tell a little there, but they're so cute. And I got the velvet ones because I hate when things slide off. So we went through all of Logan's old clothes and we got rid of some stuff, donated some stuff and saved as much like gender neutral stuff as we could. So I need to go through this basket, fold, hang. We might just rearrange some stuff. I also got some drawer dividers we're gonna open up. I find these are very helpful because everything is so little and things can just get messy really easily. So these should keep everything kind of like in place inside the drawers. So I'm just gonna go through this massive basket of clothes and hang up stuff I know we're keeping, honestly. It's very nostalgic. How is there gonna be someone this small here? Little slippers. Okay, I used to love this sweater, so I know I'm keeping this because this would be cute on a boy or a girl. Look at this cute little sweater. I'm also gonna buy some new stuff, so I will, I'll definitely post, maybe I'll do a video of like new, like items that I bought for the nursery plus clothes, but like, do you die? I mean, the small baby clothes literally make me emotional. Like I could cry at any moment. It's also the hormones. Oh my God, I remember this. Come on. We did get Logan some cute stuff, so I'm really glad we saved it and we can reuse it. And we really don't have anything that we really need to buy at this point. It's just like, I do want some new things for the baby. Like I want things that I intentionally bought for this baby and it's not all hand-me-downs, you know? So if you don't know and you're just coming across this video, we don't know what we're having. So that's why <laughs> I'm trying to just go through with the mind of like, okay, what is what is pretty easy to put on either boy or a girl? And that's what we did for our first two. So most of this should be pretty good. But obviously once we had him, we bought a bunch of boy stuff. So that's gonna be the same thing that happens. We're probably gonna buy a bunch of new stuff once this baby gets here and we know one way or the other. This is probably one of my favorite sweatshirts that I <laughs> ever put him in. I, li I literally, oh my God, I remember him in this outfit and I took photos of him. I did a little photo shoot of him in an outfit with this. Oh my God, he was so small. I can't believe how big he is now. This is like tripping me out. These like onesie things. These are more, see, this is where these dividers are gonna come in handy. This is more like for an older baby. This is three to six months. So Logan actually fit in this relatively quickly, but these little things are so nice for like the fall or even like a chilly summer night. This would be cute. And yeah, this needs to be hung up. One thing I forgot about was mittens. I forgot we put little like really light mittens on them. I don't think Logan ever kept them on, but so they don't scratch their face at night because it's really hard to like keep their nails as short as possible. And so like the mittens are, like I'm going through all this old stuff and I'm like having all of these flashbacks like, Oh my God, that's right. That's what you do with the baby. It hasn't been that long, but it feels like it's been a long time. So many sleep socks, so many swaddles. Pro tip, zippable swaddles. Okay, I have a couple that are not, because I like to have some. Oh, I bought this for the baby when we went to St. Pete. So I'm gonna hang this one up. But zippable swaddles, okay? Don't go crazy learning how to swaddle. It's honestly not worth it. If you can just zip them up and they Velcro them really tight, the Halo ones are good. And then I think there's like an Ergo Baby one that I have on my Amazon. I'm gonna be refining all my Amazon list, going through adding everything that I'm purchasing. So I'll link all that stuff for you guys. But I think I'm just gonna sit here and get this done. I'm probably gonna call Ethan and Logan in here to help me a little bit. I will check back in with you guys for part two where the nursery should be mostly done. So this was like part one, getting an idea of what we need to do. We need to order a couple more things. We need to obviously take care of all these clothes, get some art on the walls, a mirror. I have things in my cart that I need to just purchase. So I'm gonna be doing that this week. So part two of this video will be up probably in a couple of weeks. Has to be a couple of weeks because this baby's coming in four weeks. So we will pick back up in part two. I'll make sure it's linked below for you guys so you can see the final nursery whenever it's done if you're coming across this video later. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my little nesting. Thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you in my next one.